welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge, everyone. It's so great to see you here today. I've got a really fun fashion makeover on Make It With Mod Podge today. Make It With Mod Podge is every Thursday where Steve and I are sharing really fun projects that you can do with all the different Mod Podge formulas, including the new Mod Podge resin. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do a patchwork jean jacket using the fabric formula of Mod Podge, and that's the Blue Label Mod Podge, and that's gonna let you take fabric and adhere it to other fabric, and it's going to be machine washable. We're gonna do a really fun technique on this jacket. The supplies that we're gonna use are our jean jacket, our fabric Mod Podge, that's our Blue Label, I've got an assortment of adorable fabrics here. I'm just loving all of these fabrics. I like to use a paintbrush that is flat. I've got a large one for my large surfaces and a shorter one, a one inch for my other surfaces. I'm gonna use some just scrap paper and a pencil and tape to scrap to mark off a pattern. I'm gonna use some wax paper and of course some scissors. And the supplies, that's really it. You can use this same technique if you've got old t-shirts or any fabrics like that laying around that you want to cut up. We're going to show you how to collage them and make a patchwork right on top of this jean jacket. Begin by pre-washing all of your fabrics and your jean jacket. I'm using paper to create a pattern of the back of the jacket. I'm using a pencil to trace over the seam lines on the back of the jacket. Using the paper pattern as a guide, you'll just cut out your first piece of fabric for the back of the jacket. Once it's cut out, I like to test it and make sure it's the correct size. I'm using the fabric formula of Mod Podge, that's the blue label bottle, for this project. And you're just going to apply the fabric Mod Podge to the back of your fabric and make sure you get all of your edges. Now you're ready to apply your fabric to the back of the jean jacket. I like to gently place it down and then I smooth the fabric from the center out. Snip away any little extra threads that might be hanging off. You can use Fabric Mod Podge to glue down trims and ribbons. 100% cotton trims work the best. You can use pinking shears to create a decorative edge on your fabric pieces. For floral motifs, you can use scissors to just trim out the designs that you want to use. Now I chose all these really fun, bright fabrics, but of course you could do this in any types of fabrics that you like. And I think I'm going to add a few bit, a uh, few more pieces of our floral design to the jacket to complete it. And I might even do a little bit on the front up in the upper yoke area. It's so easy to do. There's a couple things I wanna go over before we say goodbye, and that is, Today I use the Fabric Mod Podge formula. This is machine washable. You do want this to cure for 72 hours. I pre-washed my jean jacket and I pre-washed and ironed my fabric. You wanna do that to remove any sizing from your fabric or from your jean jacket. Sizing is that uh, chemical that they put on fabric so it looks nice and bright and crisp when you buy it, and then when you wash it, it's more soft and flexible. So you don't wanna use any fabric softeners or things like that. Just wash it in with your regular soap and dry it to shrink the fabric too. Now, this is after 72 hours, 
You can wash this in cold water. I recommend hang drying. So I wash it in gentle on cold. If you wanted to top coat it, you can. You could top coat it just by coating another layer of the fabric Mod Podge on top. I do find that for these types of projects, it's okay. Um, sometimes I go in and I add a few stitches or embroidery stitches over top of it. So this is going to be a project that's going to evolve over time. So today I just wanted to show you the basics on how you can apply any of your favorite fabrics to the back of a jean jacket. You can do this on jeans, tote bags, you name it. This is a super trendy project. If you've seen on Pinterest, patchwork fabric is all the rage right now. So I just wanted to share a really fun, easy project with you. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure that you use the hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so that we can see what you're making and you can get your projects featured for Fan Friday. We will see you next Thursday with another fun Mod Podge project. Bye guys.